So the first thing to think about is your novice levels. And uh, many of our undergraduate students are at the novice level. And so methods to be able to enable them to progress in this are, are frankly around simple exposure. So um, making sure that they're familiar with some of the terminology, engaging the open school modules um, to allow them to have exposure to this basic concept is really the first step. But having them start to apply it a bit more, they need to then transition from um, learning things from a concrete or factual level to actually applying them. So engaging them in doing quality improvement projects for their own personal health benefits, those would be things that would be appropriate for a novice level development. If you want to transition over to a higher level development of advanced beginner, then it's time to get into the clinical or population community setting. So you really want to be able to have learners have opp opportunities to apply the skills and be a part of projects that are ongoing or initiatives that are, that are being started. So having the learners be a part of um, an ongoing project or start to develop a project in a clinical setting is the way to get them into the advanced beginner stage. To move on to competence, they need to be looking at their own work and trying to find how to bring quality improvement into their own assessment of their, of their work. The setting that they're in, they need to be a part of regular projects, learning from start to finish how to, how to engage in quality improvement. It's really a matter of hands-on, uh, engaged um, activities for them, and, it's, and having them get the feedback that they need, coaching in improvement of their of their processes is really important at the competency level because they need to be assessed at, at whether they're achieving that level of competence. Are they able from start to finish complete a quality improvement project that's meaningful in their setting? In terms of getting to the proficient level, this is where learners really need to, to work to be in an environment where they're actively engaging in quality improvement regularly. And so having an environment that is supportive of that is probably the key thing. And so if, as an educator, if I want learners to become proficient, I need to make sure that they're in a setting where they are going to be able to do quality improvement on an ongoing basis. There's systems in place to expect it and to support that work, and there's a community of practice that is actually doing this regularly. They're not a lone ranger. They're a part of a cohort that is actively working on improvement. So finding the environments is probably the most important piece for the proficient level. Expert level, there would need to be other roles for the learners at that point, either as educator, administrator. Um, so they need to have environments where not only are they doing the work themselves, but they're taking it forward and spreading it to others. Um, so the expert level also has a lot to do with, um, with, with environment, but also with coaching. So if individuals um, are proficient at quality improvement, but they'd like to become expert, then they need to perhaps get some coaching on how to, to train others uh, on how to affect system changes and stru administrative structures to support quality improvement. So they have to seek out some specialized training in order to become expert and be in an environment that is supportive of them developing those skills. Mm -hmm.